Hey guys, Big D518 here again, and today I have a little two-on-two -two battle that me and three of my co-workers, you probably recognize their names, Mars, Sid, and Mosaic, also known as Mark, Sidaniel, and Moises, in order. If you guys do enjoy this video, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen, or dislike button if there was something that you saw that you did not like, for whatever reason. Uh, I'm going to try doing uh, Pokemon questions of the day. Question of the day is, what is your favorite Pokemon from the Kanto region? Please put that in the uh, comment at the comments at the bottom of the screen. And if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe for more great Pokemon content. So today, like I said, it is a two-on-two -two battle. Uh, you can see that I'm rocking the Crobat, the Aegislash, and the <laughs> Reggie Ice. I forgot why I had a Reggie. Oh no, I remember why. I was actually online battling uh, worldwide. And, yeah, I forgot to take him out. Uh, my partner, Mars, aka Mark, is rocking the Typhlosion, the Greninja, and the Swampert. So rocking the starters. On the other side, with uh, Sid, aka Sid Daniel, is rocking the Hydrogen, the Togekiss, I believe that's what it is, and the Kofagrigus. And Mosaic is rocking the Sylveon, the Obama Snow, probably a Mega, and Rotom. Just regular Rotom. Well, let's get into the video action and see how this goes. You guys can't tell by now, I love using the uh, gym battle music. Don't know why. Alright. So, Mars sends out his Typhlosion. I send out my Crobat going for the speed. While Moises sends out the Rotom and... Sid sends out the Kofagrius. Here's the Eruption. Eruption's gonna almost knock out the Rotom. I go for the Confuse Ray on the Kofagrius because I see that as probably the bigger threat right now. Discharges on all four of us. Got the Scrappy ability, I'm guessing, and I'm paralyzed now, thanks a lot. And the Confused Kofagrius hits himself in the face. <laughs> it's been a theme lately with my confused opponents. A little Black Sludge uh, healing for me now. This should knock them both out. Yes, it does. That's a dead Rotom. And that's a... I can't even say that's dead because technically it's already dead. I go for the Aerial Ace, but there was nobody to attack. Alright, so now Moises sends out the Sylveon which is kind of an interesting move, and the Hydrogen, which is also another interesting move. So here's the Eruption again, which isn't really going to be too effective on either one of them. And here's the Earth Power, which is, yeah, good, right for the Typhlosion, which is super effective, almost knocked him out. Sylveon goes for the Misty Terrain, which is an interesting move. I go for the Sludge Bomb right on the Sylveon because it's four times effective. Although, he's got a pretty bulky Sylveon. I must say that. I think he's Choice Bandit or Choice Specs <laughs> Eruption, because that's all he's gone for so far. I didn't ask him. Uh, here comes the Earth Power and the Typhlosion, and that's a dead Typhlosion. Finally. That Typhlosion put in some decent work. Not that I didn't help. Goes for the Moon Blast on me. Which, not that effective. It's a little confusing, but it's alright. Go for the Sludge Bomb. Knocks out the Sylveon. If this was a free-for-all, that Sylveon would have probably attacked the Hydrogen with some Moon Blast in itself. So now Mark sends out his Greninja. Protean Greninja. And here comes the Obama Snow. And there's that Snow Warning. So now we're in Misty Terrain and Snow and a hailstorm. Interesting combination. I call back the Crobat because I have a feeling I know what he's going to go for. And I go into Reggie Ice. <laughs> and yep, just as I had said, the Mega Obama Snow, which is, ugh, just hideous looking. Look at that thing. Looks like somebody static claimed a cat. And here comes the four times effective Ice Beam on the Hydrogen and knocks him out.
What's a bomb of snow going for? Bomb of snow goes for the blizzard, which is not going to be that effective on either one of us. Now that Greninja was a protean ice type. There comes the Togekiss. Goes for the ice beam again on, Toge on Togekiss, which is four times effective because he's flying type. And he's life orbed. Interesting. Here comes the fire. Excuse me, flamethrower on me. Oh, I went for the zap cannon on the Togekiss. Didn't knock him out. And because of his own misty terrain, the toxic cannot go off. Ice beam again on the Togekiss. Knocks him out. And there goes to Daniel. Sorry, buddy. You're down. So now I go for the Zap Cannon. I was aiming for the Togekiss. Now it's going to go after Obama Snow. Barely does anything. Goes for the Blizzard again, even though we're both Ice types. Did a hell of a job on the uh, Greninja, surprisingly enough. Greninja goes for the Extra Century, which turns him into a Psychic type. Does a decent amount, but in the process he knew that was going to knock him out anyway, so... Greninja goes down! I go for the superpower, which I should have won the first time. Because it's four times effective against ice. Lowers my attack and my defense, though. And I got the flinch. I got the flinch. Ha! There's the Swampert. Swampert goes for the curse. Dropping his speed, but raising up his other attack and defense stats. I go for the superpower one more time. Then I can knock out the Obama Snow, and it does not. Drops my attack and my defense again, so that's probably why I didn't knock him out. Here comes the Grass Knot. Grass Knot knocks out the Swampert. Good lord. Hail stop, so no more powering up those ice type moves. So I go for a third superpower. This time knocks out the Obama Snow. Bye bye, you static clean cat. And that's the end of the battle. <laughs> Not that long of a battle, guys. I mean, when you start double teaming up on one and then you double team up on the other, it doesn't really help anybody's situation. So guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. As I mentioned in one of my last videos, uh, I do have uh, Pokemon giveaways on my Twitter. My Twitter uh, link will be in the description below. Uh, please follow me on there if you're looking for anything in specific or if uh, it would just help me out if you guys were there. Uh, head on there. I... Are, like I've said in my last video as well, I've completed the Pokedex already, so I don't really need anything in particular. All I'm looking for is subscribership for my YouTube. Obviously, if you're already watching this, you might already be a subscriber. If not, all I ask for in return for any of my giveaways, or if you're just looking to gain anything, you can always ask me for a specific Pokemon. All I'm asking for is uh, your subscribing uh, partnership, or your following partnership on my Twitter which would definitely help me out in both cases. So, anyways guys, this will be the end of this video. This has been Big D518 signing off, and I will be back on shortly, not today, but I will be back on for more great Pokemon content, and hopefully if I get my new computer, I can get on for more Mario Kart, a.k.a. Swear Wars content. Alright guys, as always, take it easy.